Princess Eugenie, 28, is getting married on October 12 to her long-term partner Jack Brooks Bank, 31, in an opulent wedding that is set to cost the taxpayer the princely sum of around pounds 2 million. While not all the details of the increasingly lavish ceremony have emerged, it is now clear the couple will most likely not sign a prenuptial agreement. Royal biographer Katie Nichol explained prenups are not commonplace for royal weddings. She told Town & Country earlier this year, I don't think members of the royal family sign prenuptial agreements. It's commonplace with celebrity marriages, but this is not a celebrity marriage, it's a royal marriage. The reason royals choose to forego an agreement is given the fact the bulk of the family's fortune and property belong to the Queen and the Crown. Commenting on the royal wedding earlier this year, Duncan Larkham, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, said, You wouldn't need a prenuptial agreement to stop Windsor Castle from being cut in half in the event they divorce. The residence does not belong to Harry or Eugenie for that matter, so it wouldn't be available for claiming in the event of a separation. However, Princess Eugenie does have huge personal wealth. She is rumored to be worth three pounds. Seven million, an amount primarily drawn from a trust fund set up for her by the Queen Mother. Another reason for foregoing the prenup is that the agreements are not legally binding in the UK, so it would be unnecessary for the royal couple to sign one. Matters of royal divorce are, after all, handled behind closed doors and not in the courtroom. Related articles Kate Middleton Prince William break this travel rule for Prince Louis. Why Princess Diana had a secret second wedding dress There is a stigma surrounding prenups, which are documents intended to protect both parties in a marriage in the event of a divorce. It, therefore, comes as no surprise that royal couples do not typically sign them. Even though three of the Queen's four children have got divorced, none of them had prenuptial agreements in place. And despite the fact they witnessed their mother's difficult divorce, it is almost certain neither Prince Harry nor Prince William signed a prenup when they married their wives.